Okay, today I'm going to be putting potato chips in my vacuum chamber. So I have a few fun things that I want to do with these. I've got a lot of requests to do chips in the vacuum chamber because there's so much air in the bags of potato chips. So first what I'll do is I'll just put them in the vacuum chamber and watch them expand and explode because that's fun. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how much air is actually in the chip bag with a really cool method. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to poke a little hole in the chip bags and I'm gonna put them in the vacuum chamber and let the vacuum chamber suck all of the air slowly out of the bag and I'll control it so they don't pop. And then I'm going to let all the air back in the chamber and the atmosphere should crush the chips bag down small. Okay, so first let's do our exploding chip bags. Okay, this is gonna happen fast. So if an astronaut decided to bring a chip bag to space, here's what would happen. Okay, chip bags in a vacuum chamber. Three, two, one. Which one's gonna go first? Oh, there we go. The Lays, the Lays is going first. <laughs> I think that's all of them. <laughs> so what's funny is those bags exploded and if you've ever exploded a chip bag, it can be really loud in the air. But since it was in the vacuum, it was just this tiny little pop. Okay, here we go. The Doritos open perfectly. Look at that. The Lay's had a tiny little pop right there. Look at all my Dorito bags, perfectly open for me. Okay, now what I'm going to do, like I said, is I'm going to poke a little hole in it, and so I'm going to suck all the air out of it, and I'm making the hole small so that when I let the air back in, it will just crush the chips bag. It will look like a vacuum bag chip bag, and you'll be able to see how many chips are really in your chip bag. Okay, so I'm just making tiny little holes in here. Okay, now let's put these in here. Okay, so now what I need to do is control the airflow so that I don't pop the bags. I want them to slowly release the air through those little pinholes. Okay, here we go. Let's give it some time to equilibrate. Okay, we now have our potato chips under full vacuum. So you're ready for something amazing? So it looks like these are full, right? They're actually even kind of puffy right now. But really, they're just filled with empty space. And you can't really tell that until you let air in there, and then the air will show you that it's empty space by crushing the bag. So here's what potato chip bags really should look like based on how much is in there. Three, two, one. <laughs> Whoa. They just got vacuum bagged. <laughs> Look at this. This one's solid. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> Look at these. So essentially what I did is I vacuum bagged these. So now that empty space that was in there is now getting crushed by the atmosphere. So when you buy a chips bag, this is really the amount of chips that you're buying. <laughs> it's really cool. So now when I open it back up and let the air back in, the whole bag will puff up. There we go. Except the atmosphere crushed all my chips. Thanks, atmosphere. Okay, so here's an interesting thing to consider. So I had one person comment in the comments section. They wanted to know why this phenomenon was happening. So they had a chips bag. They took it up on an airplane 
And in an airplane cabin, uh, they do keep it pressurized, but it's a lot lower than atmospheric pressure. It's enough pressure that we're still fine, but it is lower than atmospheric pressure. So it's a slight vacuum in there. So what he did is he took a potato chips bag up on an airplane, had a flight, I don't know how long it was, probably a decent amount of time. And then when he landed, his potato chips bag was crushed. I don't know if it was crushed as much as we saw there, but it was crushed down and it wasn't open yet. So he wanted to know why did it get crushed if he hadn't even opened it. So what can happen is that when it starts to get at lower pressure, the bag will puff up and it'll start to split open the top here until just a little tiny air gap gets through. It can be just a pinhole type, just the similar to a pinhole that I just put in these. And basically what that means is it's letting the air out and it's equilibrating with the slight vacuum that's in the fuselage of the plane. And then when you go back down and you land the plane, you're back at atmospheric pressure. The atmospheric pressure crushes the bag. So even if you have an unopened bag of chips, it can still get crushed by the atmosphere. That's because some of the air can escape out of the bag. All my chips are crushed now. Thanks for watching everybody. And those were good suggestions to put chips in the vacuum chamber. It was cool to see a vacuum bag it out as if you had put it in one of those vacuum bagging machines. So if you're not subscribed to the Action Lab yet, just jump on the bow and subscribe. Everybody's doing it, why aren't you? And remember to hit the bell button to be notified when my latest video comes out. I'm usually most active after I post a video, so if you have any questions or comments, I can reply to them in the comments section. And thanks again, and I'll see you next time.